Hello, Booktube. Well, uh, Deb came over today and and babysat the little Fraulein, so I was able to go out and about for some badly needed errands. I, I'm, I hadn't realized how many had stacked up. <laughs> so, uh, so I went out and about just quickly for a, f- a handful of really, really important things I needed to take care of in person. And of course, since I was out and about in the world, I collected books. A small amount of books this time around, but still. Uh, I came back with a bag full of books, and I wanted to show them to you uh, just because... I, they all constitute recommendations. <laughs> so the first one I found is a penguin trade. It's not black spine; it's the green spine. But uh, it'll do until a gigantic, you know, five hundred page volume of the complete of this author comes along. And this is the early poems of Edna Saint Vincent Millay. This is her first three slim volumes of poetry from the nineteen twenties, uh, and they're delightful, just wonderful. And this has a, a whole introduction as well that I've never read. And I love reading about her. She is she's fallen out of favor, but uh, I love her work. <laughs> I just love it. So I'm willing to, to to take this and put it on a shelf until a black spine penguin classic of the complete poetry of Edmund Saint Vincent Millay comes along, which I'm assuming someday it will. <laughs> I, I don't know. But then the next one was also poetry. Uh, I found a lovely uh, box slipcase of Mary Oliver's dog songs, uh, which is. Uh, that is the cover of the of the ordinary paperback and hardcover. It's uh, it's kind of strange that that it should appear that I should that it should be next to Edna Saint. Edna Saint Vincent is a real poet. Mary Oliver. These have no uh, rhyme or scansion. They have no striking imagery. They have no uh, craft to them at all. They're basically vertically stacked short essays. Uh, but they're wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. If you're a dog owner. Uh, you're gonna love this book. <laughs> it's a, uh, I don't. I don't know how it how it stacks up as poetry. I don't see any poetry in it myself, but I've read it two or three times, and I highly, uh, highly recommend it if you're a dog person. Uh, so I, it's two slim volumes of poetry, uh, and then uh, uh, an illustrated paperback. It's black and white illustrations, but still uh, of uh, it, it's called the Lamp of Beauty. This is a collection of the art writings of John Ruskin who's completely forgotten. <laughs> Once upon a time, he was the greatest uh, taste arbiter and intellectual writer of his day. The, uh, if you had gone to the young people who were reading him in droves when he was the most popular writer in the English language and said there would come a day when not only would he not be in print, but he would not be known. No one would know anything about him. They wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> uh, and this is among his most influential writing, is, is, was his writing about art, the art of his day and the art of centuries past. Uh, and I love it. Absolutely love it. And I've never seen this edition before, and I don't have any other. Because uh, in, in kind of a, re- a recurring refrain here, as far as I know, there's no black spine big, thick Penguin classic of Ruskin. Even if you made a Penguin classic out of The Lamp of Beauty, which is a, was a standard anthology of his writing, that would be fine. <laughs> There's no Ruskin at all. Uh, I think once upon a time, Penguin made a, a classic of his, one of his autobiographical volumes, uh, Preterita, I think, or, or Forest Clavigera. And they may have done The Stones of Venice, uh, but his art writing, I don't think ever... Uh, not that it has to be them, <laughs> but uh, but I do have a whole wall of them. So it'd be nice to add Ruskin to that. Instead, I'll take this and I'll just use it to reread him. I'll use it as an excuse to reread him. And then uh, a find, a biography. This is Catherine Frank's biography of Mary Kingsley. It's called A Voyage Out. Uh, and it's, it, it, you can see Africa on the cover because Mary Kingsley did an amazing amount of exploration <laughs> under hair-raising conditions and seemed never to be frightened. Seen, it seemed never to bat an eyelash at, at, you know, crocodiles and lions and charging elephants and hostile men, including natives, uh, and came back and wrote about it in a book that that was an unbelievable bestseller. She she wrote it. I think she published. It was called a Voyage uh, Travels in West Africa, and it came out I think in 1897, right before the turn of the century, and it was. Sold like griddle cakes, <laughs> and the, it and justifiably so. It's a great book. It's not only full of adventure, but it's full of humor as well. It's just and it's a totally accomplished performance as a travel book, one of the greatest travel log books of all time. Uh, I 
whenever I find copies in paperback, I've always pressed them on people. Uh, I don't know how many of them ever went on, <laughs> went on to read it. Uh, but I have uh, read bits and pieces about uh, Catherine Frank's biography of Mary Kingsley, but I've never actually read the book, nor ever, as far as I know, held it in my hand until today. So I was very happy to find it, even though it's got, you know, the 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 spine has faded with the sun. I don't I don't care. And it's a paperback too. So it's not gonna hold up well, but uh I I'm I'm definitely going to read this and I know for a fact that it's going to make me yearn to read Travels in West Africa. Again, I don't think I have a copy at the moment. And once again Travels in West Africa, despite being one of the one of the best selling Victorian nonfiction works by anybody doesn't exist in a Penguin Classic, as far as I know. I would love it if it did. I would love it if they had a newly commissioned introduction, new notes, and just the big fat book. I, well, I think that would be great. Uh, and it doesn't exist as far as I know. So uh, we, we can call this, that can be a theme for this, uh, this little secondhand book thing, is that these are Penguin Classic wannabes. These are books I wish existed in Penguin Classic. Not so much Dog Song. I'm very happy to have a nice, solid uh, hardcover in a box. That's wonderful of this. But but all the others, the collected Edna St. Vincent Millay, a big, big selection of John Ruskin, and Travels in West Africa by Mary Kingsley would all be great as Penguin Classics. So I guess you have a little theme running through. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's it for now. Sorry about the rushed video, but I'll be back. Thank you, Book 2.